visit uh, back when you were coming out of the draft, it seemed like things kind of came full circle. What was it about Tennessee that made you want to come to the, this team to go around? Uh, an offer helps. I mean, that, that was that was a big part of it. But also, uh, Kevin Hogan's my college quarterback quarterback here. Um, and just hearing what he had to say about the culture, about Coach Rabel, about John Robinson, just understanding the men they are, how they lead, how they go about their business, just aligned with a lot of the values that I wanted uh, to experience uh, in, in this uh, part of my career. So, I mean, it was, it was an easy decision to me once, uh, once an offer was presented talking to Kevin and, uh, you know, just seeing, watching this team from afar and being a fan from afar, just seeing what they do and how they go about their business, uh, to be able to get a legitimate opportunity to be a part of it, it was, it was an easy decision. Anything to the similarities as far as, like, the schemes that, that you've been in before, you know, back in Atlanta? Yeah, for sure. I mean, everyone has a similar kind of run game to a certain extent, right? Like, um, you know, zone, gap schemes, some pin and pull stuff. I mean, so yeah, very similar stuff um, that I've been asked to do in the past. So, you know, hopefully it'll be a smooth transition. What kind of player are the Titans getting in you at uh, this stage in your career? A hungry player every year. I mean, every year is a new year. Every year you're unproven. Every year you got to prove yourself to the world. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just excited for the opportunity, excited to get after it, excited to compete and earn my role within this team. After a couple Pro Bowl seasons in Atlanta, was it more disappointing, more surprising that things didn't go better for you in Cleveland? Or? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, there was definitely some frustration there. I mean, I'd be wondering why, you know, they gave me the deal and they wouldn't, you know, weren't really involved that much. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I've always been the type of player to accept the role that I've been asked to do. And in Cleveland, it was to be a predominant run blocker and split reps and split time with uh, with other guys. So, I mean, I always value myself as a good teammate first and foremost. So, again, like whatever my role is here, I'll accept it and uh, do my best to excel. And because of that frustration, as as you kind of alluded to, do you look at I'm not going. Uh, well, <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> I mean well, well, do you look at this opportunity with the Titans as kind of like that bounce back? Like, Next opportunity you know? is your best opportunity. Every day is your best opportunity. I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I want to be the best version of myself I can be. So, I mean, I'd, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd love to, uh, whatever answer you want, yes. What do you think your strengths are? I mean, are you a guy who's just best with the ball in your hands or? Versatility. Yeah. I mean, I would probably say that would be my best trait. Because, I mean, uh, so I can line up in multiple spots and I can do what's asked in multiple spots, whether it's in the slot, outside, or in line, pass blocking, run blocking, what, whatever you need, routes inside, outside. I've shown on film I can, I've been able to do it. So uh, I will definitely say my versatility. Are you looking, were you looking for an opportunity to be a guy, not so you want to be Travis Kelsey or George Kittle, but a guy who has the opportunity to put up those kind of numbers with that kind of chance? Yeah, I just want an opportunity to compete and just be a part of a good locker room on a good team. So, I mean, this, uh, this was an opportunity that was presented, and uh, it was a no-brainer for me. I mean, just good culture, good team, and just, like I said, an opportunity to compete. That's all I asked for. This has tradi traditionally been a pretty big tight end-centric team. Got away from that last year. You conscious of kind of what kind of tight end team this has been and what it might be? You mean be? when Delaney was here? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Frank Wycheck before that? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I mean the tradition. Yeah, for sure. I mean what Delaney did here is special. Love Delaney, great dude. Um, yeah, what he did there is special, and I'm gonna let Delaney be Delaney. He's the best to do it at. You know. So I'm I'm not gonna you know try to say anything about that. I mean, I'm just going to try to be the best version of myself and uh, go out there and compete every day. When you're weighing an, op an opportunity like this, yeah. do you like sit down and look at film, look at the offense and start to see if you can envision yourself in, in there or how, how do you approach that then? Uh, not really. I mean, most of my stuff was uh, done with Hogan, uh, honestly. I mean, I, I called Kevin, talked to him for about a half hour. It's my college quarterback, one of my best boys. So, I mean, once you kind of laid it all out, like I didn't really need to ask any more questions. You know what I mean? I have a buddy who's in there who's, you know, tell me about the day to day, how they go about their business, how they handle certain situations, where the schedule, like all those questions were answered by Kevin. So, I mean, I've watched the team from afar for years. So, I mean, I know on some level what they're trying to accomplish, but just talking to Kevin just put everything at ease for me. How did that process just kind of go about just as far as like from the release to the 
Titans offer? Like, was that something that seemed like it was, it was rapid? For sure. Uh, got cut Thursday and then we agreed to terms here Saturday. So it was, it was, it was pretty quick. Um, so yeah, I went through that process, get released, and then field, you know, your agent will field some calls, and then from there, you know, sit down and talk about, you know, what options are realistic, what aren't, and uh, then from there narrowed it down uh, between here and somewhere else, and then talked to Kevin, and Kevin just really, you know, was everything. How much is the confidence that people wanted you right away that you didn't have to sit around and wonder? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. How much has Nashville and, and this organization changed in the NFL landscape in the perception of being a destination for players in the last few years? Uh, that's a good question. It's a great city. If you like music, you like having a good time, like having a bunch of different options in terms of what you can do, um, for sure. I mean, Nashville is just a great city. The people that are here are awesome. And uh, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I, I love Nashville. I don't, uh, you know, we're. Strictly professional, no, no Broadway, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a destination for a reason. I mean, great, great, fun city. If you like music and uh, culture, it's one of the best out there. What is it about the, the culture of Mike Rabel that made the Titans? I mean, I, I just got here, so I don't. <laughs> I mean, from Kevin, uh, he'll just shoot it you straight, and I mean, that's really all you want. You know, it's man to man. Like he'll tell you when it's good, tell you when it sucks, and uh, everywhere in between. And I mean. As a man, I appreciate that. I, I'd rather know where I stand than you smile at my face and stab me in the back. Not saying anyone in the past has done that. I'm not trying to get a sound bite. Not saying anyone else has done that. Um, uh, I'm just saying I appreciate about that that style of business of you know how he operates from what I've heard. You said you were watching the Titans from afar, catching mm -hmm. them from afar. What did that look like to you? Kind of what has been the reputation <coughs> of Tennessee from the outside looking in? Uh, big physical, hard nosed, and uh, competes all four quarters, you know, all through the whistle. So, I mean, not all teams are like that. Um, but yeah, playing the Titans and watching them, that's, that's definitely some characteristics I've, I've picked up. You talked about all the things that you're willing to do. What did they tell you when they're selling you on the job that they want you to do? I mean, Vrabel, I mean, tried and true, just like I am. You want an opportunity to compete? I was like, absolutely. I mean, I'm not. I mean, yeah, they said, you know, this, that, and the third. But anyway, like 90% of everything that they were saying, not to be disrespectful, I, I filtered out. It was just like, I'm just here for an opportunity to compete. Like, I'm not here to say I'm going to get X amount of catches, yards, tugs, nothing, none of that. Like, it's one opportunity to compete, get, after, get out there, get after it, help this team however I can. So. What are your thoughts on the quarterback by the time? Yeah, I mean, like watching him from afar. I haven't met the guy, but yeah, seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I watched him, throws a, throws a good ball, uh, definitely has a good command of the huddle, has a good grip on the offense, you can tell. Um, so yeah, Hurry's a good dude too, so I look forward to meeting him uh, whenever that time is. Have you met anyone else on the team yet? No, no, I, no my guy Kevin, that's about it, man. Been you know, chasing the dream here, hadn't had a lot of For opportunities. Sure. How confident are you that, that he can play in this league if he if he's needed to at some point here? I mean, I've, I've seen him play in this league and do it, so I I know he can. And uh, you know, obviously that's my college quarterback, that's my guy. I've uh, I've seen him do a lot of cool stuff on a football field before. So, and he's a selfless guy. Who's I'm sure you guys figured out, like pretty quiet guy, but does his work, handles it, true professional. So, I mean, just based off his work ethic and how he goes about his business, I know he can do it. You feel like you're a three-down guy? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You were here for tight, tight end, too, right? Great time. Do you plan to kind of, because I know Kiddo is based here, you know, in the offseason. Do you plan to come back here to, to work out? Yeah, absolutely. Plan on uh, being here. And now that, you know, obviously signing here, I'll probably, uh, you know, I should probably talk to George before I say it on camera. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably, George, I'll probably be coming over here soon. Uh, yeah.